So maybe like a month or two ago, I um, uploaded this model, which I've been using for maybe a year or so, called Faces of Flowers. Um, I added it to Runway, so I thought I would just like walk through how to use it um, and a little bit of features about it. So um, I think it should be, I mean, this might just be because it's uh, my model that it shows up pretty early, um, but it's got a lot of runs, so it might be showing up in the trending. If you can't find it, um, what you can do is you can go up here into search and type unit. Um, and it should be this unit faces the flowers model. Um, so first off, let's talk a little bit about what it does. Um, so it's actually very similar to CycleGAN. So if you've seen me or anyone talk about Zebra to Horse, um, it's actually, Munit is a pretty similar model to CycleGAN. Um, so come in here, click learn more. Um, you'll see I've got a couple images in here. So um, gallery, nope, okay, it's just this photo. Um, so I've trained this model uh, myself. It is trained on Faces, which is using the FFHQ uh, like data set, and then um, some custom floral, floral images. So the whole idea is here is that you can upload an, a photo, and it will convert it to sort of this floral-like photo, as you'll see in this image here. Um, if you're interested in learning more, you can see my code uh, for the GitHub repo here. Um, you can also read the paper about Munit. Um, Munit is, what I like about it is, and I'll show this in a minute, is that it can um, can give you different uh, like results. So basically, um, whereas uh, zebras to horses only ever gives you the same um, zebra or horse, horses gives you the same, whatever it is, if it's a horse to a zebra, it gives you the, it always gives you the same image back. Munit actually adds some noise into that model and allows you to get different results, which is like nice as a design tool. Um, I should just stop talking about this and just show it. So um, anyway, let's add this to a workspace. Let's call this the Munit test. Um, so as I mentioned, um, Munit was trained on faces, and it does generally work better with faces. Um, I will admit I'm going to kind of cherry pick and show you a good result um, here. You might have to play a little bit with the types of uh, photographs you use. Um, in this particular example, I'm going to use one that's like fairly well lit and has some contrast. I tend to find that like lighting with some good contrast will tend to help uh, this model a little bit. Um, so once you've uploaded your image, you can just hit run remotely here. Um, and just remember that as you're running, this is now going to start to charge you um, five cents a minute. Um, it should start up pretty quickly. Oh, there we go. Um, and I generally find like a nice high-ish res image, medium resolution is kind of nice. So uh, this one happens to be 14,000 pixels tall. Um, so if you like make your model here a little bit larger, um, you'll see you get like some nice results. Now, what I was talking about is that um, a CycleGAN model would only ever return this image, right? It would always return the same image. Um, and this one we've got over here on the right-hand side here, we've got the style seed. Uh, so this is set to one when it starts, um, but if you double click here and you change this to two, and let it run, you'll get a different image, right? So this one's um, a little bit more sparse, uh, more purples and greens. Um, and you can, this will take any number. You can literally put any number in here. Um, and as you do this, it takes a little bit of time to run. So you'll see that like some of these don't turn out as nice as others, right? So that first one was pretty good. This one, um, you know, you lose a lot of face, but you get a little bit more of this flower look uh, type of thing. Um, so, you know, it's helpful to, to just sort of play around with these. Um, I don't particularly have any good uh, like seeds that I really like to play with, but um, it might also depend on the image. So, like this one's actually a little nice because you get sort of that um, sort of where the, the light changes, you get a nice little like shift in, in the color. Um, so you definitely have to play with the types of images you use. I will admit not every image works out great with this model, but it is really interesting. Um, like this, this seed happens to be really dark and really kind of blurry, so um, maybe that's not great. That one happens to be good, whatever that one is. Um, maybe it's 25. That one's pretty good. Um, so I think also um, if you change these, so if you go back to one, uh, which is this one, and then you go back to 25, I think you might get slightly different images. Um, I think there's some noise or randomization in this. Um, you could also play a little bit with your sliders here. So um, this is the, uh, like, this. these are some options that come default with any uh, runway model if you want to play with the images a little bit. So if you want to go, like, more grayscale. I don't know if grayscale is really going to affect this too much. Um, it actually does help a little bit here, like in the face, so it helps like pull that out a little bit. Um, you can play with brightness a little bit, make it a little bit darker. 
that gives you a little bit more of the background. Um, so you're gonna find you can like tweak this a lot. Now, um, it is trained on faces, but I've actually found that it generally works with like a lot of photographs. So I'm actually gonna switch this over to uh, my main model, which is Bone Bone. Um, this happens to be one of my Bone Bone GAN images. Um, I'm gonna feed this into the model and you'll see you get a pretty decent cat. I mean, um, you can definitely tell how it works, which is that like um, anything white sort of gets removed and then other like grayscale sort of gets different textures. So because Bone Bone's chin and neck are pretty white, um, it will get lost. Um, let's kind of crank that, crank that up a little bit, see if that helps. Um, so as you play with these numbers, you'll find you get different results. Um, sounds pretty nice, actually. Um, the eyes tend to stand out pretty well in a lot of these models, I find. Um, so this one's definitely not, it's not perfect, it's not always going to work, but I do find that you get some cool results just by uploading different images and trying it. Um, so if you do happen to try it and you find one you like, um, please like jump in my Slack and post it. I'm always happy to see like really good images that make people make. Um, you can also mention me on Twitter or on other social media, and I'm happy to share those images. Um, but that's a quick overview of Munit. Um, and just this particular model. Um, so hopefully uh, you get a good sense of how uh, the Munit model works and then also how Runway can play with these uh, using the slider. Um, thanks.